safe haven. Okay, so now... Can't do you quite yet. But we, and we're also now making cash. We're building a lot of guns. Inefficient agriculture. But that doesn't really mean that these other countries want to... Oh, wait, never mind. It does mean that they'll actually immediately support us. Form Germany! Burtonberg, why are you not a member? Why are you not part of Germany? Are you? You're in my sphere, right? Or my market? You are. German unification! Tireless effort the state men and soldiers have been rewarded. Germany is united into a single state. That's not true because Wurttemberg has not joined us. Become more loyalist or we gain 50% authority and 50 popularity for you. You're, but you're 71. You're going to die very soon. So you know what? Just give me a 10% loyalty boost. We're now losing some cash, but we need to also now completely rework our market. Because you guys are not... Well, we got to incorporate these states. Which includes Hanover. And I know we're going to be spending a lot of money. You're already incorporated. What, what states are not incorporated? You're incorpor you, Luxembourg's not incorporated. Let's incorporate Luxembourg. And I think that's... You're not. Mecklenburg's not incorporated. Incorporate Mecklenburg. But I think the rest of you are now incorporated. But there's a couple of states, right? Which means Schleswig and Holstein are not in our sphere. You still haven't joined... I don't know why Wurttemberg didn't join... Why did you not join Germany? That's my question. Is I, I don't actually know. Why are you independent? Do we even have a claim on your territory? I don't even think we do. Because claims are a little strange in, in Victoria 3. Like, you don't really get too many of them. Make a protectorate. They'll say no. They're, they're in our... Urbanized Germany. I don't really know, to be quite honest with you. But Wurttemberg is not in our... Uh, they didn't join us for whatever reason. I understand why, like, Austria didn't join us. I wasn't expecting them to, to come along on this. Attack on the river. Let's do a tactical retreat. Why are we losing now 100,000 pounds? Construction goods, government wages. Oh, probably because of... Yeah, the, the bureaucracy penalties. I mean, I think this is something that we're just going to have to eat for about two years. And I don't think there's really too much we can actually do about that. How much money do we have in storage? 1.95 million. I mean, that sounds pretty good to me. Like, I'm, I'm pretty happy with those numbers. I just need to figure out how we can... Um, I don't like. I don't think we can incorporate them. I think we need to actually invade and annex them. But, they're, they're, but we have a defensive pact. They're in our custom. Is it because we have a defensive pact? I wouldn't think so. Also, we now have like a, a lot more units. Recruit more generals. We'll recruit you. Recruit you. More generals, please. Fantastic. Again, it's it's expensive. Don't get me wrong. It's very expensive. We also need more tools. We'll import that from North Granada. Which I believe is you, right? I mean, we got New Granada. I'm assuming it's you. So Mexico and the United States are at war. I'm assuming they're trying to take some of their territories. The borders are never going to look nice over there. So let's just not even not worry about that too much. It's always going to look like ass. But, like, is there an event for Wurttemberg to join us after the fact? Because it's not even like they didn't like us. The country that didn't like us actually are more likely to join us than the ones that did like us, which is funny in its own, in its own right. Okay, arms industries are being built. Put all of you in iron buildings. It is very expensive, 343. 
30,000 pounds. But again, that's just because you guys are not uh, incorporated, which they will be soon. Presumably. Tools are expensive, glass is expensive, everything's expensive, man. I think that's something that we just got to, uh, to accept. Like, we don't even get, like, a claim to Alice with Lorraine or anything. I'm really not... I don't know how claims work. Among Us! One of our expedition members have been caught stealing more provisions and needed under the excuse that he's ill and needs more food. You can make minor progress, but a thief, you gain peril. Right now they have low peril. Okay, now they have medium peril, but they're halfway there. Got low market access, either on, the, on all the areas which is annexed. So that'll go away in due time. By the way, how's our colonies going? 272 days, 222 days as well. So the answer is slowly, but, it, but they are on their way. What about down here in, like, Vietnam? Make the Minion open market regime change. I don't think we gotta worry. Revolutionary East India Company. They got a civil war going on in the British Raj. I don't know if they'll be able to declare their independence, but we'll kind of we'll kind of wait and see on that one. Britain and Russia are at war still. What is what is their war even about? It's still about. Oh, Russia's actually in three separate wars right now. Are they winning? Yes. Wait, what do they want? Anything? They want to humiliate Russia. Okay. They're also at war here. They are backing the Mexicans against the United States. For support. Apparently the United States hasn't even lost any troops there. And they're also supporting uh, Bahrain down here as well. So Russia's really... They've got their, their feet in many different pots. Just not, not the saying, but it's, it's, a, it's a saying now for sure. We need to open up like a... Uh, we need a tree port in like the Great Ching or something like, like that. I know we got one here, but I think this is mostly just against the Heavenly Kingdom. The Heavenly Kingdom doesn't really have all the supplies that I'm really looking for. Okay, we have our two colonies here. All of our interests are declared. Make puppet, open market, independence. I mean, I would like a treaty port. Like, well, like, within the Qing itself? How many troops do they have? They have a negative... <laughs> like, no taxation capacity. Okay, Qing. How much infamy do I have? I don't think I should have that much. I have zero right now. Do, do the Qing have any allies? I'm assuming the answer is, like, probably not. Got a lot of rivalries. They got a puppet. They got some tributaries. But that's really about it. I mean, we do actually border them as well over in Tonkin. Is there anywhere else we can, like, take a uh, treaty port? We can take one here. We can take one in Beijing as well. We got some down in the south. We could take a treaty port from the Egyptians. Who would, who would actually fight us here? France would back us, but that doesn't really, that's not saying too much. So do I want a treaty port in Beijing or down south? I mean, it'd be close to this. I guess having this be close to the other treaty port probably would make sense. Not transfer subject. Well, I mean... Return state. No options. Conquer state. Yeah, we like them too much, which is, you know, understandable. I think we're going to go for a treaty port. I don't know if, like, which province actually matters. Let's see. What's, what's your population? 10 million, 8 million, 14 million. Well, I mean, if we have troops that are, like, if we have, like, a treaty port right next to Beijing, that at any moment we could just, like, walk into the city. But I won't do anything else. We can take a second treaty port, but I don't think that really does much for us. Liberate country, conquer state regime change, open market reparations. 
We can open it to open up the Tibetan market. I don't think that's gonna benefit me. We could get war reps. Pay 10% of their tax income. How much money, how much taxes do you think China makes? Yeah, give me war go give me a war reparations as well. Again, well, I mean Japan would actually back us in this. I wouldn't mind having Japanese troops support us. Russia and Britain are gonna probably say no for the main reason of like, hey, they're at war with each other. They probably have better things to worry about. And the, and Russia is also at war with the United States. They got a lot of shit on their plate right now. Bro, we're actually at 142 innovation. Excellent. We could get feminism. Where's our multi 24 months? Let, let's get our multilateral alliances. Just so we can maybe get some more allies here. Okay, military. Where is my good... We're going to mobilize you. We're going to have you defend this uh, territory in Indochina. Next up, we're going to have... Well, I know we have, we have this port up here. We have, we have seven divisions in. I'm assuming it's going to be enough to hold off any potential Japan or uh, Qing naval invasions. We're going to mobilize you next. You have to pull an HQ. Road of progress. Yes, give me more loyalists because I, I desperately... I mean, we got a lot of loyalists from annexing Bavaria and all of them, so that, that's nice. But I do I do need more. Why do you have, like, such low morale? I'm not really too sure. But you, my friend, we could promote you. Gives you more command of more ships. You know, let's promote you. And then this guy, we're going to retire. You know, have a, have a great day. The intellectual is going to hate us by negative two. They're at eight, so it actually it's not going to make a big deal. So you should then be able to bring in these four ships, right? If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. You're busy. What are you busy with? A trolling coast commanding seven flotillas. What do you mean you're busy? Oh yeah, just give me a, give me a free university. I don't know what the hell you could possibly be busy with right now, to be quite honest. You're 70. Do I have, like, a really young general? We're going to promote you. Congratulations. You can now hold more troops. I know your morale's a little bit low. He's bu What are you busy with? I'm assuming it's with, um... Japan, what do you want? Liberate country, offer humiliation. Offer liberate country. What country can you liberate? You liberate the Zili. That's not really what I want you to do. We can give you an obligation. I don't really want to do that. Yeah, well, he, well, he delayed China as well. Kidnapped. Word arrives from the expedition that several of the members, including Paul Skeffer, have been kidnapped by a local king who's demanding a ransom. For two years, that is a lot of money. Yeah, we're not going to do anything. Sorry, uh, you're you're asking way too much here. When, when do you guys arrive? 39 days? How much? How many boats does, uh, do the Qing have? 47? 80% morale, 100% supplies, number 3 worldwide. But I'm assuming your boats are not very good. I at least have, like, ironclads and stuff. Which works out pretty well for us. I don't know why he's busy. We can't even retire him because he's busy. He's doing something. Maybe we'll just never actually know. Flo four flotillas in reserve. I don't know. I have no idea what this man's up to. Escort convoys, patrol coast, raid convoys, naval invasion. Well, I mean, we're not at war technically. You can't do that until, uh, until the war breaks out. You gain payroll. They're in grave danger. Okay, well, next time we'll uh, we'll make sure to worry about that. Failed expedition. Well, shit. <laughs> can I, I can send him again. How much money? But, does, but it's still it's still going to cost like 27,000 pounds a, uh, a week. And they all died. Again, we could survey the Suez. 
negative 57 bureaucracy, which is not so bad. Who else could maybe... The Heavenly Kingdom doesn't have anything to do with us. Apparently, they, don't, they have 22 divisions in total. Heavenly Kingdom, what the hell is wrong with you? Maybe we should do another war against Heavenly Kingdom. Bring in uh, some troops or something like that. Okay, we got 49. We got some ally forces moving in here as well. Man, it's going to cost us probably a decent... How much money... Actually, how much are we trading with China right now? Which is in trade. We're importing a lot of fabric. We're exporting a lot of paper. Are we even trading with the Heavenly Kingdom? We're actually not, funnily enough, even though that's where our treaty port actually is in. Commander Command Civil Coalition. Momentum for the Progress Party. Moltke becomes a politician. Become more radical. He becomes leader of the... Who? Moltke, what is his actual ideology? Religion's Protestant, interested in the intelligentsia. He's a moderate. Who's currently in charge of the intelligentsia? They are currently led by... Uh... Avant-garde. You, who's a jingoist. Pose the peasant levies. I mean, I'm kind of fine with that. They can they can have some momentum. That that that's more than enough, I think. For negative twenty five, I don't think they're gonna be able to push away the Tonkin. Get eleven days on you. Ching right now are worried. I mean, is there anything else I can add? Conquer state regime change. Is adding just like more stuff to stack on top of the Chinese really what we want? And I think the answer might be yes.